Hey there, if you want to know how you can do that to recovery mood on your iPhone 5s, 5c or 5 then this is the video for you. Because in this video, we're going to go ahead and quickly show you how easily you can do that process on your iPhone. Now let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, now the question is, why do you need to do that DFE mood or recovery mood on your iPhones? Well, this process requires when your iPhone won't turn on, getting stuck on Apple logo, or if it has touch issues, displays issues, or if it gets frozen, or even if your iPhone get disabled. Now, if this problem happens with your iPhone, you need to do that DFE mood. Now, before you go ahead and do that, there are a few things you have to be careful enough to follow. First up, make sure to get a backup on your data on your iPhone. Because once you have done that process, your, all of those data will be erased from your iPhone and you will never get them back. So it would be always wise to get a backup. Second of all, make sure to get an authentic Apple cable to do that process. If you have a faulty cable, this process may get failed. Third of all, make sure to have at least 50% of charge on your iPhone to do that process. Alright guys, now after checking all of that, you need to get your computer. Now you can either have a Windows or Mac, but especially if you're using a Mac, you have the iTunes application pre-installed in it. However, if you are using the Windows, you need to download the iTunes either from Google or the Microsoft Store. Now let's say you have downloaded that iTunes on your computers and after that, all you need to do is simple, just go ahead and open up your iTunes applications either on your Mac or your Windows. Now as soon as you open it up, go ahead and grab your cable and connect your iPhone to your computer. So what I'll do, I'll connect it to that PC first and then I'll grab this iPhone and I'll place the cable to this iPhone. Now just go ahead and just place it in and qu afterward quickly press that power button and that home button together and keep them holding unless you see that your Apple logo appears one more times on your iPhone screen. Now as soon as you just see that Apple logo comes up on your screen and afterward go ahead and release your power button and keep holding your home button as soon as you see that DFU mood or that logo comes up on your iPhone. Now let me leave it here. As soon as you do that, you will get a pop-up on your computer. Now just go ahead and click restore and then go ahead and click restore and update. Now click next click agree to the terms and conditions and then you will see on top of your computer right here your software will start downloading now go ahead and wait unless your software get downloaded all right guys now after downloading your file on your computers all you gotta do is just go ahead and grab your iphone one more times and then all you need to do is just go ahead press that power button and that home button together and hold them around 10 seconds as soon as you see that Apple logo appears on your iPhone 5, 5s or 5c. Now go ahead and release only your power button and keep holding your home button. Now as soon as you see that recovery mode comes on your iPhone. Now afterward go ahead and leave it here. Afterward you will get a pop-up on your computer. Now, all you gotta do just go ahead and click restore and click restore and update. As soon as you do that, you will be able to see that your software will start extracting the weight unless your processes get done. After extracting your softwares on your iPhone, you will see your iPhone will take auto restart just wait unless your process is going on. Well, make sure to keep it connected with your computer. Please don't release your cable because that may affect that process. Alright guys, now let's go ahead and wait for the last boot up. Alright guys, while doing this process, if you get this pop-up window where it's asking for the activation log, you simply can enter your Apple ID and password to remove it. As soon as you do it, go ahead and tap continue. Now go ahead and tap continue one more time. Afterward, you will see your iPhone will start saying hello in different languages. That means your process is successfully done and your problem will be gone forever. Now, let's go ahead and check whether it's working or not. So, as you guys can see, it is completely functional and it is working well. 
All right, guys. So this is how you can do that to recovery mood on your 5, 5S, or 5C. Hope this video is useful. If so, be sure to hit that like button and feel free to subscribe to this channel to get more useful video content for yourself. Thanks for watching. See you next time.